So um, here I have two almost identical boards. This one is uh, running in voltage mode and this one is going to be running in current mode. At the moment I'm measuring the uh, control loop of my voltage mode um, and then we're going to measure the current mode a little bit later. But for now I'd just like to um, point out how the, the crossover frequency of my loop on the voltage mode changes. So I'm just going to save this to memory right? and I'm going to increase my input voltage and just have a look at what happens to the crossover frequency as I increase my voltage mode, uh, input voltage 11, 12, 13, 15. As you can see the crossover frequency is increasing 16, 17 and 18. And this is exactly what we suggested in our previous video. Please recall that this is a standard voltage mode. A voltage mode with voltage feed forward will not have that issue. However, because the loop has changed and it's effectively we've gone from around 11 kilohertz crossover frequency to 20 kilohertz, it will imply that as I increase the input voltage, the transient response is going to get faster. We're going to show that in a little bit uh, with the oscilloscope later. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect this voltage mode board and I'm going to connect the current mode one. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing in that I'm going to increase the input voltage and hopefully we will see that the, the loop response for a current mode controller is not going to change. Okay, so now I have reconnected the, my board, so I've removed the, the voltage mode one, and this now is the current mode one that we are measuring. So I'm going to go back to the body uh, output. Uh, let me delete the voltage mode trace, and let me optimize this so that we can see better. You now can see that we are starting at around uh, 17 kilohertz crossover frequency. I'm going to save that to memory, and now I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to increase the input voltage, and we're going to see how the crossover frequency of the current mode controller is going to change. So I'm going now to, there you go, 11, 12, 13, 14, as you can see, as I'm increasing the input voltage, actually there is almost no difference whatsoever, 16, 17, 18. There is really no difference whatsoever in uh, the loop response of the current mode controller, uh, which implies therefore that in transient response, when I give it the load step, it should not change in time domain depending on whether I have got a low input voltage or a high input voltage. So what I'm going to do again now is I'm going to now change this. I'm going to put a load step onto it and we're going to show on the oscilloscope how the trans response changes and compare again the voltage mode versus the current mode. So um, this is now my current mode controller and now we're looking at it on the oscilloscope. Uh, we showed earlier that the loop response does not change and therefore as I change my input voltage I ex don't expect the transient response to change. Here the green trace is the load step that I am giving it to, giving, giving the power supply uh, with my uh, active load and the uh, red trace is the output voltage on AC coupling so I'm only looking at the trans transient response and how quickly it is recovering. So at the moment input voltage is around 10 volts and I'm gonna go up and let's see whether it will get any faster. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18 and you see that actually there is no change whatsoever in the transit response and you'll see that on voltage mode that's going to be quite different. So I'm going to swap the board now again to voltage mode and now we will see how it changes with the input voltage. Okay, so now this is exactly the same setup but with the voltage mode power supply. Again, the green, green trace is the load step that I'm giving it and the red trace is the, uh, um, the ripple, uh, the transient on the output. So again, I'm starting at around 10 volts and I'm going to increase my voltage. There you go, 10, 11, 12, 16, 17, 18 and you clearly see that the power supply is getting faster. Let's do that one, to, one more time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reduce the input voltage down to around 10 volts and you, can, you should see on the oscilloscope that it's going to slow down. And clearly you can see that's happening and then I'm going to increase the input voltage and again you can see 
that it speeds up. And of course, this is completely consistent with the loop measurement that we did, which showed that the crossover frequency changed. Again, this is a standard voltage mode. Uh, current mode does not have this, this disadvantage. Uh, and uh, if you get yourself a voltage mode with input line voltage feed forward, again, you will not have this issue as we described in the other video. So uh, hope you enjoyed this demonstration and hope to see you in one of our workshops.